So yesterday, I did some rearranging and it's like completely different. And I also just got here and came from the nursery, bought a plant because I was feeling like it just needed something. Like it felt like I was missing something. I think plants will kind of liven it up a little bit. I didn't intend for it to be this big though. It's <laughs> It's so big. So this is my new plant. It's a Monstera. And it's so big. I have a lot of cleaning to do. Like there's just like a lot of junk back here because I was like rearranging, but I took away the rug that I got from Ikea. I loved it. It was so colorful, but it was just like a little too much. That paired with those shelves, paired with all the neon colors, it was just too much. <laughs> so I want to keep the color and liven it up with the plants, and I think that'll kind of brighten it up a little bit more. But just no, not so like punchy color. I thought that I that kind of liked that aesthetic, like punchy, saturated. But I don't. At least not in an office space. Like I need something a little bit more relaxed, like a more relaxing, calming feeling while I work. So I picked up this lamp for my desk because I need some more lights, and I kind of like a warmer light sometimes, easier on my eyes. So it's kind of like a. A mushroom and I got it from Ikea love Ikea so let's see how it works a nice glow and it's a soft glow to it so it's kind of like a orb or like one of those mood lights i think that's cute i love it hey y'all it's been a minute since i vlogged been a couple of weeks actually and um i'm just gonna getting into the studio my hair i did my hair this morning oh my gosh not only is the product like super mega hold so it's like so tight and like nearly crunchy. I use the foam. Um, it's like so shrunken and stuff. So like I just have to like put it up real quick because I looked. <laughs> it was not the product that I used was so def defining and like ho holding. It was all, it was like no give. There was like no little frizz. I couldn't even pick it out. It's like I put gel on my hair. I did rearrange in here. I don't know if I sh showed it, but this is my back area set up. I did some like rearranging in the shelves and got like all coordinating boxes and I'm, I want to label them. So this is like what's left that I need to figure out somewhere to something to do with it. But I have this like little station for the folding desk and then my other desk and this is where I've been painting and it's so much fun these are like some of the first things that i did like just playing around and then yesterday i did this yesterday i've been just really enjoying the abstraction that was last week these were last week yeah i also got a new bag a work bag I got this new work bag, which is like a camera bag, book bag by the brand Brevity. And I got this green color, which I, it looked much lighter on online. So it's giving military, which I don't much care for, but I'm thinking like if I just cover up the logo, it might, with like a patch or something like that, I just need to like accessorize it a little bit and then I'll feel better about it. But it's like a camera bag so I can take 
like my daily essentials, my camera, charger, and my phone holders and stuff to and from so I can film at home or wherever I need to. And then it has like a front, a top pouch, and a laptop. So I'm, I'm seeing if I like it. I just got it yesterday. I got ordered it from Amazon because I had originally saw an ad for them and went on their website and looked and I was like, oh, you know, when I need a new bag, I'll get it. And then when I finally came time to like needing a new bag, I was impatient and just ordered it from Amazon. So on Amazon, they only had two colors, that one and black. So I know the black wouldn't be any much any better. I want to do some more sketchbooking and stuff. I wanted to create like a little travel art bag. Um, just like art supplies to have with me like all the time. And so I was thinking I could use my, what is it, my kink and sling? I don't think it's the mini, it's like the tiny one, the sling, and make that like an art bag. Just like with minimal supplies, because originally I wanted that backpack that I just got to carry like all of it, but I, eh, it's not really gonna fit, I don't know. I'm gonna do some adjusting and stuff. But I did wanna go to Michael's because I bought some paint, but I wanna take this back because I don't need it and I wanna get better paints. Other than that, I'm like not feeling like a bit off this week and stuff and tired and just not really sure what's going on so so i've been wanting to paint or make some wall art for my studio specifically in the front like above the chairs and i just have not exactly known what to do um so i wanted to try this exercise of just kind of like an intuitive painting but on, on a large scale and then it kind of creates multiple cohesive pieces. So I tried that out this time on on some larger paper. I think it was like 18 by 20 almost. Or maybe a little bit smaller than that. To try and get like a, a gallery wall going for my wall in the front. It was definitely a fun process. I was just putting putting stuff down on paper. It was definitely just intuitive. And I do enjoy abstract art the most. This was right before I decided to invest in um, higher quality supplies. I was using craft paints and I just wasn't happy with how it looked because of the materials I was using, but I did like the how things turned out, just not how the colors looked. I felt like they, they looked kind of dull and chalky because it was cheap paints. Up until recently, I didn't know the difference between the paints. I just thought some were expensive than others, but now I have a, a way higher understanding of everything. I think they turned out pretty good. I actually really do like how they looked, but I think I'll probably go in and add some more because I I don't know. I don't know, but this is the finished. <laughs> this is how they ended up after the whole process. And um, yeah, I do think they look pretty cool. Hey y'all, it's a new week. It's actually the beginning of May, super exciting. I'm very excited for this month. Today I am, just have a little bit of work to do and record the podcast, but I wanted to create like a little painting area on this back wall. And I currently have just like some things that I need to take to my storage or like throw away or organize onto the shelves over here and I've been procrastinating it. So I'm about to do that today and set up like this table right here because I've been working on like these two tables, but I got some canvases that I eventually want to start working on. And I think the easiest way would be to do it on the wall. So I'm gonna try and make some kind of setup thing. Today's been like a weird day. Like, I don't know, I don't know what happened, 
but everything just started to mess up. Well, I know what it was though. It was because I was rushing like all day. Like I had made plans last minute yesterday and no, I mean myself, I should have, I'm just not good with like last minute things because then <clears throat> I put a lot of, like, I just kind of like, <sighs> anyways, I was rushing today because I was trying to fit it all in and I, w I was trying to take my time, do my thing, but then I also had plan and it was like, ended up blocking myself out, which is the second time I've blocked myself out of the studio. <laughs> and I was trying to get the podcast visuals up because today's Tuesday. I have the podcast. The audio went up fine, which no, actually this morning when I posted it, because I, I, it wasn't uploading, right? I had to like redo it. So I don't know. It's been kind of like a weird day. I'm not sure like why everything went wrong, but I'm not going to let it affect me. Um, it's all fine now. Um, so then the visuals that I post on YouTube get uploaded with the audio cuts out at five minutes. Thankfully, someone told me and I saw it not too long after. So I just deleted the video, re-exported it, re-uploaded it for tomorrow. Um, I did want to show the new my new like art supplies these are the canvases that i was talking about and did i tell y'all no but i told on the podcast i got uh some like pretty big ones this one's 36 by 36 oh and um i got a 30 by 40 can't really tell and then i got some 24 by 30s back here and then i have some really big ones and i hit them behind my mirror you can kind of see them right there so I'm excited to use those and uh but I'm not going to right now definitely not today and then I also got some paints a nice assortment of bright colors these are my these are my favorite colors right here these are my favorite colors with an exception of like a pink no actually all these are my favorite colors but with like a more darker pink and I set up the little painting area so I'll put something in the wall so I can just hang the canvas on the wall and then just do, 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 do. it'll be perfect no easel needed um what else oh I hung up some other stuff to on the wall so it looks pretty full right here this is my other area so it's nice and yeah that's what that's what I did yesterday. So I'm doing a similar exercise of making one large piece and turning it into smaller pieces. Um, one where I used tape and then I did two where I didn't use tape and then I just cut out pieces of the larger piece to make smaller ones. And this one was definitely my favorite exercise out of all the ones that I've done over the last couple of weeks. I really enjoyed how they turned out. I like the colors that I use and I definitely enjoy some better quality products than I did earlier in the video where I used the cheaper paints. Um, was it necess absolutely necessary? No, but there was a look that I was going for and I was able to achieve that with some of some higher quality products. So these were the final things that I made. Um, some mini pieces out of the large piece that I did. And this is probably the favorite thing, my most favorite thing that I've done so far. It's definitely the colors and the marks that I made. That's the end of this studio vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.